Hi everybody, it's Ursula Smith from Easy Scraps and today I'm going to make the first of what I hope is many videos and I'm doing this video for my mom. Hi mom. Um, she loves this technique, um, so do my kids and it's a very easy technique but it's actually, it looks pretty cool. It's the Versamark um, resist technique on glossy paper. So thanks for visiting and I hope you enjoy this video. So the first thing that you need for this technique is you need glossy cardstock. This technique actually does not work if you use regular uncoated cardstock. So you definitely need the glossy cardstock. Then you need a stamp, obviously, and uh, Versamark. So I'm using the Dazzle. You can use the regular. It doesn't really matter for this technique. And so let's do it. So I'm going to do, this is a big background stamp, so I stamp differently when I use a big background stamp and I'll show you what I do. I leave my stamp actually on my stamping surface and face up and I'm going to ink it with my Versamark and then I leave it that way and then I take my paper, my glossy cardstock, to the stamp and I'm going to place it down hold it with my fingers, and then I'm going to take a bone folder and rub it along the top. This way where I'm going to get the entire surface covered. I talked about this in my blog, but now you can actually see it in action. And so now my glossy cardstock is stamped, and it's really kind of hard to see because Versamark is clear, so clear on white doesn't show up very well. But if you're doing this at home, you're going to let it rest actually for about a minute. It works a little bit better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do it because my battery is running low. <laughs> so now you're going to take dye ink. So this is very important. You're going to use Versamark, which is a pigment ink. And now you're going to take a dye-based ink. So I'm using Distress Ink in this cool barn red color. And you're just going to smush it, technical term, on top of this Versamark stamped image and then you're going to take a paper towel or some kind of piece of paper and you're going to wipe it off. The Versamark is going to resist the dye ink and you're left with a very cool background. 